first alert weather with Cassie Campbell is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Well, it has been a busy day across the Harlan. It might have seemed pretty calm outside, but we're talking wind advisories. We have seen record breaking high temperatures and we are tracking the chance for some strong to severe storms possible for overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. So what does that mean? Don't mean to cause panic, just want to make sure that you're prepared and ways to be best prepared, especially for overnight storms that could become a little bit strong to severe. Make sure you have multiple ways to receive those warnings, cell phones, radios, TVs, anything that you get your warnings from, make sure that those are good to go. Make sure you have a safe place in mind if you do need to take shelter. If those warnings do come in and you need to get somewhere where you're safe, Make sure to have that planned out and lined out and then make sure maybe you have the flashlight next to bed if you lose the power. Maybe grab the shoes in case you have to get up and going right away. Just make sure to be prepared and not so much on the panic side. We'll walk you through that timestamp of when to expect those storms in just a minute. But here's kind of the setup that we've been tracking. We have very strong winds coming out of the south. This is giving us the warm temperatures. We're increasing in that humidity. It's becoming very unstable out there just ahead of this front. So those ingredients that we look for for severe weather to start forming are slowly starting to come together. This low pressure will continue to track to the east, bringing in this cold weather. We are going to see a very big drop in those temperatures for tomorrow. Right now across the heartland looking mostly dry and mild, but as we continue throughout the afternoon, early evening, Watching for about 7 p.m. for the initial start of the chance for some showers, possibly some storms, mainly in southern Illinois, a little bit into our northern counties in southeast Missouri. Still going to stay very windy with us. As we continue to progress throughout the evening, most of these storms are going to stay in southern Illinois and then shift to the east. Still seeing those winds come out of the south, but can see exactly where that front starts to work through. The winds shift out of the north, and we're going to get this second line of some showers and storms to start developing overnight into tomorrow morning. You can see by 3 a.m. Pretty good cluster of cells, mainly to our southern counties, western Kentucky, into the Boot Hill in Missouri, and a little bit into Tennessee. You can see where those start to really fire up along where that front is placed. Really, the timing of this front is going to determine when these cells start to kick up. So make sure to stay up to date throughout the entire afternoon into tonight and really tomorrow morning. By the time you head out the door by around 7 a.m., most of this is expected to be out of the heartland. We'll dry out for Wednesday afternoon. Although it looks sunny, it is going to be very cold. Temperatures in the 40s compared to the 80s today, but still a very breezy day. We'll start to see those winds calm down. We'll have a pretty nice evening for Wednesday. But as for today, that threat tracker. Most of the heartland is under this level two, that slight category. That's a two out of five for some strong to severe storms. There is a couple areas in that enhanced level. That timing, 7 p.m. tonight to 7 a.m. to 5 a.m. tomorrow. Just be alert, be prepared, be cautious, have ways to get warnings if they do develop. Threats as of now, damaging wind gusts is going to be our main concern along with some large hail, but can't rule out some isolated tornadoes as well. Planning for tomorrow will be in the upper 30s, gradually increasing into the mid 40s with those winds staying very strong. Could see wind chills in the teens, depending on where you're at, heading out the door tomorrow morning. 47 tomorrow will gradually warm up into those mid 50s by the end of your work week. And then look at this, 60s back in store by Saturday. And it doesn't take long for those 70s to come back by Sunday, Monday of next week, tracking another round of scattered showers and thunderstorms.